That's the Uncle Bull Cow back again. And I got the stuff. So, Sergeant Dunn has now came out with Doomsday Seasoning. That's right, folks. We did the Doomsday Sauce. He's been got the Doomsday Jerky for a long time. Doomsday Tincture. We got the Doomsday Pecans on SergeantDunnBeefJerky.com right now. Go get you some. And that right there. So, and I apologize, Sergeant Dunn. He sent me this sample, and I've had it for a little while. And I, I just kept forgetting. And then it's like I'd make something that already had enough seasoning and enough salt, and I wanted to give it an honest review. But we made fried dough. This book I wanted fried dough. And I ate mine already. And then I made one for dessert. So you put some powdered sugar on it. But I, I stole a little, a little piece of Mrs. Bull Cow's. With the, the marinara sauce, and it's, it's low salt, so th this will not make this too salty. So, uh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Load it up. Holy mackerel. And that's what it needed right there. I didn't have no crushed pepper, and I didn't put salt in it. The, the homemade marinara sauce with big chunks of garlic in it, fresh garlic. And I didn't put no salt in it. And when I ate that first fried dough, I was like, man, this needs some salt. I threw some pecorino romano on there, which gave it some saltiness. But I needed, this, this sauce needed a little bit of salt and some kick to it. This is money right here. I loaded that, loaded that bad boy up. Mm. Man, that's a good seasoning right there. Good job, Sergeant Dunn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna load the rest onto this piece right here. But I will go in for a solo bite, Crockett and Tub style. If you know what Crockett and Tub style means, comment below. Way down in the back. That's friggin' awesome. That's friggin' awesome. I don't know everything he put in it. I think I can taste some garlic, of course, a little bit of salt, the pepper powders. Um, not crazy hot, but it's hot. So for a chili head, this would be perfect to put on your eggs in the morning, your grits fish, whatever you're cooking, you can put it on there. Um, a non-chili head, you'd probably be a little bit careful with this. You might not. Me, I would take this and put a piece of catfish right in it, blacken it, you know, cook it like that. Non-chili head, uh, they might sprinkle it on a little bit. It's got good heat, but like I said, it's not going to burn your face off. So I got this piece loaded right here. Mm. My phone was in the other room, but I seen a missed call from Sergeant Dunn. Got a text from him. The craziest thing was... The craziest thing was that... Uh, I remember the seasoning yesterday and today that I had it and I was going to cook something with it and then we got we went out today and we're out in the, the heat and uh, I asked Mrs. Bocow what she wanted and she said fried dough so I, I for some reason I don't know if I didn't think I was going to possibly put that on there maybe I thought I'm not going to put it in the sauce because you know the kids are eating it but hmm
All around excellent seasoning. Cajun food, all day. Fish, chicken, throw it on your ribs. Very versatile flavor. There's some seasonings you get that you have to go with a certain food. You know, you, Jamaican or it's Indian cuisine or something, and it doesn't go with anything else. This, put this on anything. Go pick you one up right now, sergeantdunnebeefjerky.com.